Okay, my dudes are back here. WWE 2K23. We're going to have that ladder match. Here we go. WWE United States Championship. That is right. Hanging right there, guys. It is going to be L.A. Knight. Yeah, going up against Austin Theory. And uh, I think we were all kind of surprised that Rey Mysterio kind of won that match that I thought LA Knight was going to win to go forth for the belt. But you know what? It's kind of crazy what's going on with LA Knight right now, man. I don't know what WWE are doing. I've been hearing a whole bunch of stuff that LA Knight's not going to renew his contract. So WWE just punking him out in the last little bits of his contract, which I feel is kind of wrong. To be honest with you, but at the same time, I feel like LA Knight, and the crowd is behind him now. You hear the crowd, LA Knight, yeah, yeah, everyone would just be saying it, man. Like, he's he's getting the crowd pumped up, right? The crowd is feeling, his popularity is rising. Is it really a smart decision to, to not push him in the right direction? He's walking weird, bro. All right, anyway, Austin Theory, still the golden boy of Vince Man, even though Vince Man is not there, but it's all good. I feel like um, LA Knight should have been the golden boy of Vince Man, really and truthfully, man. I love LA Knight. LA, LA Knight is, is so dope. Oh, there he is. L. Hey, what the? Yo, what the what? That's all we can say right now. All right, LA Knight, Austin Theory. Let's see who's going to climb that ladder and claim the gold to put around their waist. Is Austin Theory going to keep it? Or are we going to see LA Knight finally get some gold? Pow! Running power slam. I like that one right there. Austin Theory does have skills, don't get me wrong. I feel like over time, with all the hate that everyone has for Austin Theory, everyone will begin to like him. Or hate him more, whichever man. I always like a good. You guys know I like a good heel. I'm, I'm digging the new heel. Like a heel. Is, everyone knows. I like that. Yo, I like you diving straight through them ropes right there. Yo, not wasting no time going after LA Knight. Now going to get our ladder. LA Knight, very smart, trying to take Austin Theory down right now. Somebody explain to me in the comments below how the heck is LA Knight not getting pushed enough? Like they're pushing him, but. They, it's like a road stop. Like they pushed him against the whole Bray Wyatt thing, and then that just ended, and it was like whatever. Then he's like the whole of oh, oh he's gonna go for one of the championships. No, he just loses. Now he's like oh he's gonna go for that. No, but he loses that. Bro, like we're seeing him, which is cool, but he's just not getting pushed enough in the right direction to actually give him the opportunities. I feel like he should have. Yo, LA Knight, I reckon LA Knight would do justice. LA Knight would definitely do justice uh, taking... Um, do I want him to be a champion? I don't know. Main story would still be cool. I would still like him having a main story. That would be pretty dope still regardless. Like, see how well he does with a main story. Give him that main story. See if he does justice. See if he does what you think he could do. And if he doesn't, then he's a flop, right? But I don't think he's going to flop. I, I, let's be honest. I don't think LA Knight is going to flop a main storyline. I feel like he's got... Do you know what I really hate? When people just say he's a knockoff version of the Rock and Stone Cold Steve Austin. Now, don't get me wrong, I get the vibe, I, but I don't feel like he's a knockoff version, man. Like he said in one of his interviews, yeah, he grew up watching Stone Cold Steve Austin, The Rock. So yeah, maybe a little bit of his flavor is from them. But like, bro, really? We got Kevin Owens that takes everybody's finishing moves. Does it really matter? Like. He's not exactly like The Rock. He's not exactly like Stone Cold Steve Austin. You might just get that vibe by him. And that's not always a bad thing. You know, I don't mind a superstar reminding me of one of the superstars I used to love to watch back in the day. I grew up watching Come on, Stone Cold Steve Austin terrorizing the McMahons. That was the one right there. Oh, you missed him, bro. You actually missed him right there. Stone Cold Steve Austin, when he used to just literally terrorize the McMahons, he used to take Vince McMahon to places where we didn't know. Even when Vince McMahon was in a wheelchair and he had his crossbow on him. Like, I'm telling you right now, man, that the hunter in Stone Cold Steve Austin was phenomenal. All right, it was absolutely phenomenal. Oh, they going top. Oh, they climbing. Oh, oh, he's climbing, bro. Pow! Oh, he just gets him, though. This, this could spell disaster for LA Knight. He gonna get choked up? Nope, nope. LA Knight knew it was gonna come. LA Knight knew that damn devil was gonna come right there. He ain't gonna have none of that. Yo, he wants that gold. He don't want 2K23 to take that opportunity away from him as well, man. Let me see it. Oh my God. Oh, he's done. He's, that LA Knight. 
Oh, I was about to say LA Knight. Even LA Knight knew not to go. Even LA Knight knew not to do that. Woo, nice reversal there by LA Knight. That was a finishing move getting set up by Austin Theory. I think this could set the whole game. Whoa, Yo, LA Knight, man. You gotta set my boy up. You got you gotta set my boy up, bro. I'm telling you right now, put him down. Even with these kind of like stunner kind of move, whatever, it's still dope. I'm still feeling it. I'm still feeling it. I don't mind, man. Do you guys feel like the some of you guys may have never even watched The Rock and Stone Cold Steve Austin because you guys are more maybe a new generation of watching WWE. But you know what? Bring it back, bro. Bring it back. You guys do it. Here it is. Bruh! Climb! Climb! We gonna have a new champion! Finally, LA Knight gets what he deserves, gets what he needs. He's gonna claim that belt right there. Because Austin Theory is knocked out cold. One and a Hold on. A two. Dale. Dale. Again, is he gonna push it down? No, he's gonna let him climb. He's gonna let him get it. Oh, LA Knight stopped. His hands were feeling too jittery right there. His hands were far too jittery, man. Whoop, Austin Theory busted LA Knight open right now. Do you really think LA Knight is gonna screw over the golden boy of Vincent, man? WWE 2K23 might think it can happen. We go see. Bro. Oh, he's done. LA Knight could do it. Oh, damn. He's got a finishing move. He might. He does. He does his damn finishing move to LA Knight. No, he reversed. He reversed it. LA Knight, just clean that belt, bro. He did it. LA Knight has done it. LA Knight has actually done it. That's what I'm talking about. LA Knight has done it. Honestly, guys, I thought Austin Theory was about to literally, oh my God, special move LA Knight off the ladder right there to claim it. But no, LA Knight knew it was going to come. He knew it was going to go down. Look at his face. It's busted open. There's blood everywhere. But he is the happiest WWE superstar right now because he's finally getting what he deserves here in WWE. He's rated in the gold above his head, thinking finally. He's saying, yo, guess who the champion? LA Knight. Yeah! Give me down a yeah in the comments below if you believe that our boy LA Knight should be at least holding or going for being a main story in a gold championship. Let me know which gold do you think he should be going for. If not, let me just know what you guys think of LA Knight anyway. But until then, I'll see you guys in the next episode, my dudes.